Okay, let's take a look at our problem. So we're going to look at secant lines. So we have a function here. It's a parabola pointing downwards. And we're going to look at the secant. We're interested in the slope of the secant lines. So the secant line is just going to be the line between two points on the function. Okay, and we're what we're doing is we're, we're looking at this point where x equals 1, and we're getting... Uh, we want to look at these, the second point as getting closer and closer to one, right? This will allow us to see what's happening and estimate what happens when it is exactly one, which is when it's tangent. In other words, touching at one point. Okay, so always helpful to look at illustrations. Okay, here's our function, parabola. These are the points we're going to be looking at. We're going to get closer and closer to x equals 1. There's x equals 2, 1.1, 1.01, .1, very close to 1. There's 1. All right. Now, here is our first secant. All right. So it's from this point x equals 1 to x equals 2. Okay, we're going to draw that straight line and calculate the slope okay so the slope is the change in y over change in x the y value comes from the function okay the x value is given okay so we have change in y over change in x so you calculate the numerator from the function and the denominator is just the change in x okay so there's the gradient or the slope of the first one, negative four. All right, here's the next one, 1. 1.1. Okay, so again, you'll just calculate that value from the function in the numerator and the denominator is change in x. All right, notice that the slope is getting smaller. Well, not smaller closer to zero because <laughs> it's starting out negative. All right, so again, just the calculation here approaching zero. Okay, let's actually draw the tangent here now. All right, so just barely above that last secant and reasonable to estimate that it's going to be zero. Okay, now if you haven't done it yet, uh, you're going to learn how to calculate the derivative. And the derivative will enable you to calculate the slope of the tangent precisely. So if you don't know that, something to look forward to. All right, I hope that helped.